In this video, we show you the new Isolate Select Render Mask type. Like the other Render Mask types, it is enabled from the Render Settings window under the V-Ray tab and in the Image Sampler rollout. This new option uses Maya's Isolate Select Viewport Selection feature to only update those isolated items when rendering or re-rendering. In this example, I will select the body of the car, then turn on Maya's Isolate Select option from the Show Viewport menu, then Isolate Select View Selected. If I adjust the color of the car's material, this change is the only part of the image that is updated when I re-render. To make this more clear, I will adjust the intensity of my lights, and again, this change only shows up on the body when I re-render. It's not until I turn Isolate Select off that everything else in my scene will be updated with the lighting change. Now let's look at the Isolate Select Render Mask in IPR mode. I'll start an IPR render and use the VFB's Select Object feature to choose the car's body without having to go back to the viewport. I can then view the isolated selection and adjust the color of my material. I can then change the HDR image loaded into my dome light, and since IPR is still running, these changes continue to be reflected in my render. Next, I will disable the isolated selection, and the IPR render will detect the change and update the entire frame. Now, I will select the car's bumper, again, right from the VFB's window. Then, isolate it in the selection and adjust the chrome material assigned to it. Let's turn the reflection color down and reduce the reflection glossiness. If I bring back the rest of my scene by turning off the Isolate Select option, all the other chrome objects will be updated since IPR is still running. Sometimes, seeing the entire image in the VFB can be a bit distracting when you just want to focus on a particular object when updating your render. The Clear Image button can help wipe out everything in the frame buffer so when you re-render, only the selected items are seen in the render. This also applies to the alpha channel. Another way to do this is to enable the Clear Frame Buffers option in the Render Settings Common tab. Then the VFB will be cleaned out at the start of each new render. Some more general information about the Isolate Select Render Mask is that it works with both CPU and GPU renders. One thing to note is lights cannot be isolated. They will always light the objects no matter if they are isolated in the viewport or not. Now let's take a look at this feature in a more real world situation. Here I have a shot of three cars parked behind each other. I want to change the colors to develop a particular look, but I don't want to have to re-render the entire scene while I'm trying to figure out what I'm after. In comes the Isolate Select Render Mask. I can select just one car body, isolate it in the viewport, duplicate and change the material's color, and then just re-render that selection in the VFB. Once I'm happy, I can move on to the other objects in the scene and focus on them. Some reasons why you would want to use the Isolate Select Render Mask over the traditional Render Region feature is it's more precise than the marquee you draw to determine the region. The Isolate Select Render Mask can also be used on a collection of objects scattered all over the scene. The Render Mask will render those objects without updating the negative space around them, no matter what the proximity is to the other objects included in the mask. Remember, when dealing with other reflective objects in the scene, like the chrome bumpers, the reflected color will not be updated unless they are included in the isolated selection. So this workflow is best for draft renders until you're ready to re-render the entire shot for the final image. 